Oh, you are one big fella. Great to know, though, I can bounce off of you with ease. Hello, everyone. This is Mystic, and welcome back to Bug Snacks. Last time, we had gone through some of the missions for the DLC. This time, we're going to carry this on by collecting a chocolate and a Clobsteroni for two side quests of here. Along with, however, me needing to do a very quick run. This is so then I can actually shrink down the Celestics. The whole reason for needing to shrink Celestics here is not for catching it, but for what's on it. These are chocolates. And as you can see, um, thanks to the pie, I'm going to have a bit of trouble catching Celestics itself. There we go. Celestics. Now, Chocolates. They only are on Celestics, so that's why I had to shrink it. Now I can shrink the chocolate. Once I do so, I can catch one and put it into Floofty's trough. And yep, chocolates function like most scared snacks. They hide. So, we gotta do what we know best. Stravi, you were meant to scare it out. Perhaps it's one that just needs time to come out. Yes, it is. There we go. Got the chocolate that I needed. Next up, we'll be trying to get that pie. However, you may also still realise I'm still in need of these torches. How can I get there? Well, there is a trick. It's not that hard. We get our sauce. Because if you remember this club's Deroni. He is without his trampoline. And would you look at this? I have brought him back to his faithful trampoline. Here we go. Wait for Clobsteroni to get in line. Hop. And bounce. Nope. Oh, I didn't seem to have momentum for it. And it looks like one of the chocolates actually stunned. There we go. Had the momentum this time. Okay. We light this torch. This will bring out this bridge. And... We can now use this spice more effectively. And this spice effectiveness is great for catching the Clobsteroni that was knocked over by Pylobite. So now I have the snacks I actually need for the missions already. There are, of course, though, more that I'll need, including Celestics. So for now, shrink Pylobite, catch Pylobite. I will now run quickly. Oh. <laughs> well, everything's going on there, but that's enough potential to just get away. So let's go back to Triffany and see how she's doing. Any luck with the rubble? Oh, it's not going too good. I'm starting to worry I might never see the inside of this temple. Maybe we all could work together to open it. 
was afraid you'd say that. Sure, teamwork would really help out here. But those grumps can't go more than an hour without starting a big fight, and I, uh, I just freeze up. You know, I'm an expert in my field and all, but I'm not a management type. It's better if I just concentrate on my work and let them cool off on their own. You really don't think they can cooperate? To be honest, no, I don't. These kind of spats, they just fester and grow. And before you know it, civilization collapses. Look, some folks just don't get along. Some mysteries just go unsolved. There's nothing I can really do about it. But at least we gave it a shot. I'll see you back at the camp. Well, that's Triffany's line done. That means we actually are already halfway through the story needed. So, let's get back to the camp where we can give the two snacks that we currently have to to the two people. Starting off, one chocolate for Flufty. I brought the snack. At last, a viable sample. Now I can extract the powder and finally put this mystery to rest. This requires my utmost concentration, and you ask far too many questions. You may return when I found my answer. For Flufty, we just have to wait. So, let's go to Chanlo. Feed him the Clobsteroni. I'll make it his teeth. I can feel the lifting energy inside me, but I didn't get bigger at all. Guess I didn't get huge eating that big bunger either. You know what, bro? I'm just gonna admit to myself that it's not gonna work and move on. Guess that means my investigation's over already. What do I do now? Here's the thing you can do, Chandler. Sit back and relax. You're a bit too stressed. Relax, huh? I guess it's been a while since I just chilled. I've been so busy. Fixing up Snacksburg, training, life coaching, and, you know, I've always got to take care of Snorpy. What the grump? Let's hang! We ought to shoot some hoops! Let's shoot hoops, Chandler. Oh! <laughs> yep. You know the rules, dog. We're gonna take turns shooting hoops. First one to make five baskets wins. Go ahead and shoot your first shot. Yeah, we will literally play some basketball. Get get everything off of his mind. First shot. You got one point. My Go on, Chandler. Nice one point. Nice move, Chanlo. Okay, to let you know, for this um, mission, Chanlo actually you, is randomised for how many points he can get. <laughs> Two points for me. Some people are able to get through this with him scoring nothing. Points, Some have been able to get through with tons of points for Chanlo before <laughs> either side would have won. Bro, I missed. It's actually pretty interesting how they made him randomized with that. You got four points. My turn. I got three points. Nice Chanlo. But it's about time we finish this. Whoa, five points! You won, dog! I didn't know you were such a baller. We gotta have a rematch sometime. <laughs> that was fun, Chanlo. Thanks for playing with me, bro. Now that we're done hanging, I gotta get back to Snacksburg. I gotta go check on Snorpy. Snorpy's doing fine. We don't need to worry. You sure about that, dog? One time I saw Snorpy lose a fight with a crapple. But that's not the point. Bro, I'm gonna be real with you. This is the longest I've been away from Snorpy in years. And he's not okay without me. How about this? I'm gonna need some big energy for the trip back. You get me two of the biggest, strongest bug snacks on this island. 
and I'll stick around till I'm fueled up. Okay. Ironically, these are the two that I mentioned for. Celestix and Pilobite. stuff I can't talk about because Snorpy's always listening in. So, if not now, when? Let's get you some guidance. Alright, Sheldon's waiting. Hey, Sheldon, can I get some of your wisdom? Always, my child. I'm worried about Snorpy. <sighs> Once more shall you be reminded. Snorpy is safer than we, Chandlo. Ease your burden. That's... that's not what I mean. I'm worried about the way he's been. All the paranoid stuff. The anxiety. I thought bringing Snorpy out here, out into nature, it might mellow him out. Flush all the bad vibes out of his system. But it's only gotten worse. I've known Snorpy all my life, but it feels like he's getting further away from me and... And I just don't know what to do. Uh, one must in the path of the mother. No, uh, hold on. One does not want one's words to be misinterpreted when one says that boy needs therapy. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm trying to do that. I make sure he's safe. I listen to his problems. I try to help him feel valid. All that stuff. Chandler. You are strong and wise and wonderful, and you can do everything to support him. But you cannot fix him. Understand? Snorpy is lost in a maze of his own making, and it will take a professional to help him escape. That's a lot to take in. I need to think about it. Thanks for your wisdom, Shelda. You thank me when you actually take my advice. Hey. Bro, while I'm still out here, I want to talk to Triffany and Floofty too. There's still more I gotta know, you know? That was probably some of the best advice Shelter has ever given. First, Triffany, Chandler wants to have a talk. Oh, I'm happy to chat with Chandler. Let's meet by the campfire. What's going on, Chandlo? Triffany, you know about history and, like, ancient societies and stuff. Shelda said Snorpy's lost in a maze of delusion. But what if it's not a delusion? What if there really is a Grumpinati? Well, I've done some research on my own, and uh, near as I can tell, there's no such thing. At least not in the way you see in the movies. There's no shadowy cabal secretly in control of the world. <laughs> Real conspiracies can't happen. And heck, there was an old literary society called the Grumpinati. But aside from the name, it's not at all what Snorpy talks about. Are you sure? I mean, I've seen Snorpy's charts and they kind of make sense. Kinda is the important word here, though. Look. There are points of data on that chart that are real, but it's all those strings between them that are made up. No, those are real. We got them from Gramble. Oh, Chandlo, that's not, uh, what I... Let it go, my child. Point is, Snorpy might be a talented engineer, but he's no historian, and he's certainly not immune to bias, you know? Yeah. I guess you're right. I hope you're right. Thanks for talking to me, Triff Dog. No problem. And if you ever want to know more about failed conspiracies throughout history, you know where to find me. Okay. Well, Chanlo, if anyone, Flufty should know the most about her brother. 
But first, how's the analysis? How's the analysis going, Flufty? Blast it all! I do not need your distractions. I've obtained dried particles of plant slurry. But I have no way to analyze them. It's like living in a stone age out here. Perhaps if I had a particle separator, an electron microscope, and a degree in botany. Mm, bah! Plants are not my area of expertise. Well, we do know a herbalist. You cannot be serious. I would sooner eat my bow tie than listen to a word of Shelda's advice. Do you know another plant expert, Fufti? That's the thing. Lambus is actually quite accomplished in plant cultivation. However, he has vowed never to speak to me again after the Noodler incident. Uh, well, that was not expected, but what if Shelda can help? <laughs> if Shelda knows the secret of the shrink spice, I will eat my bow tie. Very well. Since you clearly won't start pestering me about this, let us go see Shelda. One senses the reek of a foul presence. Cease your hostilities, Shelda. I am here on business. I've been informed that you may possess a rudimentary understanding of phytochemical reactions, which I am in need of. <gasps> Strike the stars from the sky! The Wicked One has come to me for guidance. But surely one's ancient ways are far too primitive compared to the miracles of modern science. I do not appreciate your sarcasm. If you do not wish to help me, then simply say so and be gone with you. One would never. It is one's path to offer guidance to all who seek it, no matter how undeserving they may be. Very well. Then I require an analysis of the shrink spice. Tell me what is in it, and be quick about it. Please. Hmm, ah, yes. A poultice made in the herbological traditions of the mother. Though its purpose I cannot control. If that is what you desire, then one will enter the olfactory realm to find the answers you seek. What? Don't sniff. I know that. Ah, so many subtle aromas. Witch hazel, cinnamon, ah, black tea. Each a natural remedy for inflammation. And among these astringent... <coughs> Oil of vitriol. Oil of vitriol? That's sulfuric acid. A common but powerful desiccant. That certainly explains the burning sensation. Floofy, did you tell the journalist to throw acid at you? Well, this has been surprisingly not a waste of time. I am going to leave now. I may call on your services again. And your will. Well, with that, we seemingly have now gotten Floofy done. So, Channel wants to speak to you about your brother. Oh? I suppose it was only a matter of time. Tell Chanlo I will be with him shortly. Are we here to speak ill of my brother? I will gladly go first. Complaint one of 294. No, no, that's not why I asked you here. But I do want to talk about Snorpy. He wasn't like this when we were kids, right? I mean, he wasn't always so on edge, was he? Snorpington has always had his imagination and his moral compass, but no, I suppose he's gotten markedly more distraught since our project's dissolution. What happened between you two? I mean, I heard some of it from him, but I always wanted to hear your side too. And Snorpy doesn't really like me talking to you. Oh, I'm aware. I have a pile of threatening letters to that effect. However, I will gladly take this opportunity to set the record straight. We were working together on a government-funded research project. Advanced prosthetics that are ten times stronger than an ordinary grumpus. But our dear Snorpington discovered that the government had less than savory plans for that technology. And despite my protestations, he tried to make those plans public knowledge. Well, yeah, I don't blame him. Even you gotta admit, that's pretty jacked up, dog. Am I the world's only optimist? 
That technology would have saved lives. If it must either exist with some consequences or not exist at all, I think the choice is clear. Easy to say when you aren't the one living with the consequences. <laughs> Where did you come from? Shoo! <sighs> Unfortunately, Snorpington agreed with you. He tried to play whistleblower, but before he could make a sound, we were both fired. And after that, there was a campaign to slander both of us, to discredit any allegations he might still make. So, there really was a conspiracy against you two? <laughs> if you must call it that. But only the most boring sort with paperwork and lawsuits. Still, that means it's not all in his head. Don't mistake justification for reason. Snorpington has moved well beyond the realities of our situation. All right, Flifty. Thanks for telling me all that. Mm, happy to have enlightened you. Honestly, I expected this conversation to involve more shouting and headlocks. No, not this time. We're cool. But hey, we should talk more often. And maybe I can show you how to headlock me! Perhaps. But for now, my work beckons. And with that, we talk to Chandler. So, what are we going to do now, Chandler? Bro, I feel like there's a huge weight on top of me, and it's not the kind I can lift. Snorpy never would have come to Snacktooth if I didn't push him into it. All I do now is make him exercise and ignore all the stuff I don't understand. Sheldon's right. I don't know enough to really help him. And thinking I do is only making it worse. I'm gonna stay here. Until everybody's ready anyway. I need some time to just think. And there it is. We've completed all of the investigations. Oh, that's nice. Well, if that's the case, then I'm going to go gather everybody up so we can share what we all learned. This might be a long meeting, so let me know if you've still got some business to do. What Triffany means by that is this is going to be the final mission that we'll have to do here. So, you want to make sure that you've captured everything in Broken Tooth prior. And for me, there's only two things I need to do, which are the Deviled Eggler and the Spagida. Spagida is going to be a lot more troublesome. So I'll start off with the Deviled Eggler. Use the launch pad to fly all the way over here. Now, the Deviled Egglers, they decide to split to different locations. Now they love hot sauce. This love of hot sauce is actually going to be the method of attack. Because, you guessed it, I will grab hot sauce from around the area and I'm going to use it to my advantage. If I can locate hot sauce, that is, um, otherwise I'm going to have to go back to Snack Tooth. Is that no hot sauce plant? Okay, there's cheese, there's peanut butter, there is ketchup, it's by base. Perhaps hot sauce is over here. No, that's chocolate. Where is hot sauce at? As this island should contain every... Yep, there it is. It should contain every sauce type. Okay. Now, Spagida will be a little bit more difficult to get. But... It isn't impossible. Start off, source up a mini mochi. Grab the spice, throw it, catch Deviled Eggler. Now, Spagida. 
Spaghetti loves cheese. We need to use that to our advantage this time. So, this time, cover the Millie Mochi, and as it pulls one up, you can see it will carry it. Okay. Cheddar just went by, so I can do this. You are going to want to put out at least one Millie Mochi. The plan is as fuss. You get your trip shot. You lure the mini mochi. Oh, never mind, I hit the ched orb. Now the ched orb's on fire. Okay, the ched orb just put out all the mini mochi. Okay. Mini mochi are once again frozen over. Okay, come on, Millie Mochi. Okay, this is getting a bit more annoying. Actually, if I'm correct, there is a different method I can take. First of all, take, um, Spagida's attention. Where is Ched Orb? It's coming. And it went past. Come on. You know what? That works. Come on, Jed Orb. I need to see if this could work. The plan? Knock Spaghetti out of the sky. Never mind, you're too big to lift up and knock. Grab this. Gotta be quick. Launch. There we go. We have shrunk Spagida. Now. Cover them in this cheese. No. No, 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 no. Gotta be quick, gotta be quick before it grows big again. Got it. There it is, Spagida. That is all of them, except for one. This one is the mission one. Here we go. Let's run off. Let's 
go to Triffany. Finished all the investigating. This might be a fantastic. All right, everybody. Team meeting. Thanks for meeting everybody. It seems like we've all had an interesting time so far, yeah? Indeed. I must say I'm eager to see what grisly curiosities you found in your studies, Professor. Ooh, ah, uh, I better not go first. I'm sure I'll just ramble on all night. Say, Chandlo, did you ever find a way to get bigger? Not physically, nah. But I did grow in, like, a metaphorical way. Sorry I couldn't help more with the science. Do not apologize, child. Knowing oneself is the most valuable kind of knowing. Hmm. And, Shoga, what did you find out about Mother Nature, eh? With some... <clears throat> additional insight, one has learned that bug snacks are indeed children of the Mother. Yet, Toxins still, just as every fang dripping with venom, every flower glistening with poisonous sap. A reminder that nature can be very unkind. Grump, yeah? Nature's hardcore! Ah, uh, like some. The ancients may have worshipped the mother, but her light was lost on them. The tooth remains broken. And one believes that this was not the work of the Divine. The truth of its destruction and rebirth remains shrouded. That is so interesting! Oh, I swear, we've got to talk about history soon, Shelva. But first, let us discuss my findings. With some <clears throat> minor assistance, I was able to reproduce the newly discovered shrink spice. After some experimenting, I've learned that these big bug snacks are actually small by default. Something about the snack matter on this island causes them to enlarge. I believe I understand the how, but I've yet to discover the why. There is no why, Flutie. Things simply are. Using my words against me. Invent your own wisdom, you sagacious charlatan. I would, if you ever listened to anybody but yourself. Oh, please, let's not start. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, happening now? Ha, oh, you missed it, Drift Dog! Flifty and Shelda teamed up to brain slam this mystery! They... they have? Shocking, I know. The things I do for science. Yes, the path is ever winding. But one apologizes for the distraction as it is time to feast on the fruits of the historian's knowledge. Oh, well, I, I've certainly learned a lot, but there are still plenty of mysteries abound, and I think it's possible we'll find all the answers inside the temple. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a collapsed hallway there, and I've got no way to get through. I believe we may have a solution for that. My combined research with Shelda has produced something quite useful indeed. Oh, yeah! Floofty asked me to build Don't a- Don't ruin the surprise. Trust me, it will be very entertaining. Ooh, a more ominous sentence has never been uttered. Well, that all sounds good to me. Let's head to the temple. Indeed we shall. Well, there it is. Think you can do something about this debris? No problem, Drift Dog. Floofty, let's get the thing ready. Of course, the thing. You, place your buggy ball on the ground in front of us. Well, this is interesting. Um, there you go. Good. Now turn around. And no peeking. We wouldn't want to ruin the surprise, would we? All right. I've got it out of the ball. Slippery little thing. Keep it still or the needle will- Ow! What the grump is that stuff? You'll live. There we go. And... Whoa! Don't let go! Oh no you don't! Gotcha! 
You may now turn around. All right, bro. Feast your eyes on the new and improved Big Buggy Ball! What? I wanted to call it the Engorged Strabiform or Bacula Encasement, but we can't always get what we want. With this much snack power, we can tear down that wall! Yeah. We now have got a supersized Stravi that can break through walls. We got a way in. Nice teamwork, everybody. Problem solved. You are all very welcome. Oh yeah, big Stravi! Center yourself, Chandlo. This is not a creation to be celebrated, but to be feared. Yeah, but we did do pretty good, huh? Ooh. I could ask a million questions about how that works. But first things first, let's poke around in these ruins. Indeed. We now have several things that we must scan. Starting, Horned Statue. The statue has been utterly destroyed. Was this the leader of the ancient Grumpuses? Temple Mural. This mural depicts the ancient Grumpuses readying a ceremony. Sealed well. A great big hole in the centre of the room, completely sealed. Behind it lies more of the shrink spice. This strange smoking powder will temporarily shrink gigantic bug snacks. Over here, a mother statue. This sta this huge statue of Mother Nut Tray watches over the chamber. And to end it off. Temple mural. This mural depicts a grumpus being sacrificed to a great moor. Well, Triffany, we've scanned everything. This was a bad place. That's an understatement. <laughs> I told you that the Stone Grumps did ritual sacrifice, yeah? Well, this was the place. They'd throw Grumpuses down that pit, offering them up to whatever's down there. Hmm. Is that why the bug snacks here get so big? Because the soil's been uniquely fertilized oh, come check this out. well then I found this machine thing buried here kind of reminds me of Snorpy's lunch pads indeed yet large enough to launch something of significant size in fact it seems to be perfectly suited for the big buggy ball I believe an experiment is in order so do I. Come on, Stravi. Hop in. Whoa! Sprout got locked in there. Uh, now what? Hmm. There seems to be a triggering mechanism on the back. It may require a chill from the snack wrapper to activate. Well then, let's do that. Uh oh. Can't be a good sign. What did you all do? The disturbance is emanating from the sealed pit. Ready yourselves. A grave danger approaches. Rose, I get the feeling I'm about to get dunked on again. Indeed, he has. Meet Cheddar Bottle Rex, King of the Jungle, rolls Cheddar Orbs as an attack. Its lid protects its cheesy bot, his cheesy Mac. And yeah. Cheddar Bottle Rex has one main attack method. You don't want the spices to hit stuff, trust me. You want to aim Cheddar Bottle's attack of throwing a Cheddar Orb into these launchers. And from there, you guessed it. Fire! Cheddar Bottle will break the one that was used. Fire! Okay, we've broken its case twice. What now? There's no more. That is not the case. For now, our mission 
is to use the Shrink Spice. Shrink Chat Orbs. By shrinking them, you release more launches. Okay, just stay behind this. He will throw a chat orb. And once again, launch. Get behind the other one. Here's 50. Launch it. There we go. There's Shelter. There's Tiffany. And as for Chandler, well. Don't quite know quite yet. Okay, wait for him to get ready to throw another Ched Orb. Once he throws it, get out of the way. Go of that. Fire. Okay, Cheddar Border will now pick up another one. Fire. It didn't hit. That ain't good. Gonna wait for him to get another one then. And do the soup once over. There we go. And as you can see, can't move, controls lost. He goes and breaks the launch pads. And a puzzle emerges with Strabby back. You guessed it. It's time to do a puzzle. However, this one, we need Cheddar Bordle to throw to the start. There we go. Aim it so then we'll get Sprout there. And while we can't see it, this is becoming a new launcher. And it hits Cheddar Bordle right on the head. He's now stunned. Just shrink him down. And, to end it all off, what else but trip it? Hello, Chan, love. Bro! I better eat that thing before it pokes up again! Don't worry, Chan, love. Here is your Cheddar Bordle Rex. I don't know if it's the adrenaline talking, but that's the best bug snack I've ever had! Alright, let's check if everybody's okay. Phew! Good to see we're all in one piece. That was the biggest snack I've ever seen. Nothing like a giant monster fight to get the blood pumping! 
<laughs> Speak for yourself. One is far too old for this. Agreed. But now that the danger is past, I'd like to revisit what precisely all of this means. You know, judging by the temple roof, the collapses, the crater... I mean, it's just a thought. But I think ages ago something big came out of that pit. Well, yeah. We just saw the Cheddar Bortle come out of there. <laughs> if the Cheddar Bortle could be handled by one mediocre journalist, I doubt it could destroy an entire civilization. Yeah, I'm thinking much bigger and much nastier. Something we can hardly even imagine. The wrath of Mother Nature. Or perhaps, the wrath of those sacrificed. Amusing as this grisly history is, none of that explains why the island suddenly rose from the sea. Maybe it wanted to be found. Our islands don't generally want things, Chandler. Unless those lost and vengeful lie dormant still beneath our feet. You know, I think I've learned all I can for now. What say we call it quits today? For our own good. All yes. right, sounds good to me. Okay, so do you want to come back to the raft with us or keep exploring? Well, let's go back to the raft, Triffany, because we've done everything here. Wonderful. And on the way, I'll regale you with stories about other temple collapses. Well, that's great. And back to Simmering Springs we go. That was the entirety of the DLC done. And yes, 10 new snacks, one of which was a boss. That being, if it appears on the group here, I'm trying to see it if it's on here. I don't think it's on this list. But Cheddar Bordel Rex. Slurp Dog! Chandler, my l <coughs> um, <laughs> You're in one piece. <laughs> and I mean, of course you are. I had the utmost faith in you. Oh, please. You were likely in tears the entire time. I was not! <laughs> Triffany, what in the world did you find out there? Oh, gosh. That's a long story. I kind of want to get home to Wamby first, if you don't mind. But, uh, let's meet up in town, and I'll tell you the details over some snack waters, yeah? Yes, let's! Ah, and Shelda's alive and well? Yeah, my joints are killing me. <laughs> but sure. I, uh, uh, one must meditate with a tincture of willow and cloves. Uh... If you inform me of the recipe, I could find a way to augment the effects. Consider this an effort to be less deliberately antagonistic towards you. Uh, thanks, I guess. Floofties being helpful? Seriously, Chandler, what happened over there? Grumpinati mind control? I don't know. We're just finding ourselves out here, Snorp Dog. And, uh, speaking of that, Snorpy, I'm sorry for making you come to Snack Tooth. Oh, well, well, that's all right. It may not be my favorite place, but well, I know you're just doing what you think is best. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, you sound like you've got something weighing on your mind. Yeah, I do. But I think it can wait. Let's just go home and chill, okay? Ah, well, well, I'm nothing if not chill. Thanks for everything, dog. We'll see you back at Snacksburg! Indeed I will, Chandler. Yeah. That is everything on S Broken Tooth. However, there is one thing that was a bit odd when it came to Broken Tooth. That room with the key. But first, let's go back to Snacksburg and make sure everything is fine. Because, yes, with Broken Tooth done, there's something a little extra to do now. As there's a little more mail, of which has major importance.
Okay, now that we're back, let's go to Chandler. What's up, bro? Let's chat. Shelda so wise. I don't pretend to understand it, bro. Shelda can see the future. Okay. But yeah, that's everything we've broken to, more or less. As you can see, the um, extras are all complete. So, with that being said, let's check our mail, because trust me, this is important. Oh, hey there. Just thought I'd thank you for helping out on Broken Tooth. You know, I can't help but think there's still secrets buried there. And maybe on Snack Tooth too. So, always keep your eyes open. And we got two ancient statues. However, this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> Buddy, can't even believe it. You caught every kind of bug snack. Th there's got to be a prize for that or something. Hold on, let's see what I can throw together. We get a golden stravi and certificate of completion for getting every snack. But there's still one more piece of mail. To Kid Edas, Omni Vivum X Bug Snacks. You have what you need to enter a very special place. If you do not know the way, Grump Beard will show you. B. And we got eyes and a legendary snacks rug. So. Golden Strabby. Certificate of completion. Legendary snacks rug. However, the concerning thing is actually interesting. We can now put as the outside eyes. So let's go ahead. Next episode, let's see what we can do with this key. This is Mystic, and goodbye.